Hello there YouTube, this is your Suburbanator here. Today I want to show you how to relearn the tire pressure monitors on this 2008 Cobalt without using that activation tool. And uh, since tire pressure monitors have been mandatory for 08 and newer cars, I believe GM finally decided they were going to come out with a more straightforward way of doing it. Because the way it used to be was some cars had to use the magnet, others you actually needed the official GM scan tool or the $12,000 snap-on tool. And customers wouldn't be happy about that because in the past, the only people who would get tire pressure monitors were like the fancy Cadillacs and Buicks. And usually the people who could afford those, well, they could go afford to go to the dealer to have the sensors learned. That's not the case anymore. All cars, including this basic Cobalt, must have these. So I think they made it so uh, you wouldn't need such fancy crap. Now, first proceed. First thing you want to do, you want to bring it up to about 60 psi because part of this procedure is deflating the tire. You don't want to start at 30 because then you'll flatten the tire. And if you're doing this on the ground, you actually risk pinching the sidewall, and then you're short of a tire. And even this 195 60 15 is. Uh, even that now, like the cheapest one now, I think it's like no less than 60 bucks. So definitely take the extra time to fill them up to around 60 PSI for this procedure. The next thing, order does matter. The way this works, when you initiate the learn mode, which I'll show you how to do in a moment, um, what will happen is... Ah, shut up. I, yeah, I, I botched the previous take, so this is actually my second take. But don't worry, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to tell you everything else you need to know. So, left front, right front, right rear, and left rear. That order does matter. Because when you start deflating them after you initiate the learn mode, what's going to happen is the first sensor it sees action from, it's going to interpret it as the left front. So let's say I started to do this one first and let's say this was the only tire 50 psi it would be saying on the dash that you are 50 psi on the left front when this is really the left rear. So order does matter. So again it's left front, right front, right rear, left rear and you have to do it in that order. So I am at 60 psi now or maybe a little less like I said, this is actually a second take. I botched uh, the first one. Okay, mm-hmm. Make sure I have a charged battery too, of course. Um, yeah, door ajar, really? No shit. Service tire monitor, yeah, well, what do you think I'm doing right now? Auto lights are off. Okay, so you hit these two buttons together. Here's the info and the enter button. You hit them together. Hit the info again, info again to your tire learn. Hit the enter button. Tire learn on. Yeah, you just have to hold it down a bit. So, you're going to start at your left front. And you keep doing this till you hear a horn chirp. There you go. And move right on to the next one. Yep. Sometimes it takes a while, sometimes a little quicker. It depends. Depends on the condition of the sensor, how old is the sensor. Yep, there we go. And we go over to this one, right here. Okay. Any day now. Like I said, this takes a little time sometimes. There you go. And last but not least, you gonna go here. Now, once you do the last tire, it's going to be a double chirp, maybe even a triple chirp. There you go. That means, okay, it tells you right here, learn is complete. Just hit the info button. Uh-huh. Go through the other options. Now you're back in normal mode. Turn the key off. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and let's see how it is at startup. 
and ah, looks like it was successful. Yep, all the other stuff is on. Nothing telling me to service the uh, tire pressure monitors. Now, of course, set your PSIs accordingly. Whatever the recommended is. I like to go a couple over. I know they usually recommend 30. I like to keep 32, 35, depending on the tire. A little less rolling resistance, but don't get too caught up in that. And that's all I really wanted to show you. And I hope this was helpful.